Jared here with Four Guys Talking Cars. So today I thought we would go over what I had done to the Scatmobile and what exactly I paid for it. Because the clear paint protection and the ceramic coating, stuff ain't cheap, man. So let's get into this. Okay, so before we go much further, you gotta forgive me, the car is dusty. She needs a bath. The Scatmobile needs a bath, but I'm not allowed to wash it just yet. It needs another couple of days of curing and drying. So let's go over what I had done. So the entire car got the ceramic coating treatment. And I also had, during the time it spent at the detailer at Ceramic Garage, we also did the clear paint protection. And what that was is the clear, like some people refer to the bra or whatever, it's the clear material they put over the entire front end, all the hood, the uh, fenders, front and rear. And if you look closely, I've got it on the mirrors and it goes all the way up into here, all the way to here, uh, down, they put it, under here because we tend to grab onto this and scrape with our fingernails and all along the rocker panels uh, just to help against those rocks and so forth. Now when I say the fender flares all the way down to here and then what's kind of nice is they put some around uh, the back here. There's a piece I can feel it here. You may not be able to see it comes down along the edge just to protect, give a little bit of extra protection around the back. And again, she's dirty. I cannot wait to give this thing a bath. But again, that's what was done. So let's go ahead and hop inside the scat and uh, talk about the cost. Okay, here we are inside the Scatmobile and let's break some of this stuff down. So first of all, let's back up a little bit and talk about how did I pick uh, the place that I took it to. I I've never done this. I've never taken my car in and had it ceramic coated. You know, like a lot of you, I watched a ton of YouTube videos, uh, watched a ton of reviews, um, asked folks, they all recommended the ceramic coating. And furthermore, they all recommend to do it right away. Um, so it was really difficult, first of all, to take my car drive it directly to a, a deep detail shop to ceramic garage and leave it there and they uh they needed it for 10 days or almost two weeks actually closer to two weeks that was really hard to take my brand new car only drove it for like 40-ish miles dropped it at ceramic garage and didn't see her again for you know almost a almost two weeks um I did not price shop this stuff. So I did not call around with the objective of trying to obtain the lowest cost. What I did is I was looking for the best place to take my car. These cars are expensive. I mean, maybe if you're, you know, sitting on millions and millions of dollars, maybe that's not expensive to you. But um, to most of us out here, these are expensive cars. and. Um, I needed to trust this place. And so I looked at reviews, Yelp reviews, what people are saying. Um, that's, that was my deciding factor of to where I would take this car. Um, I wasn't necessarily shopping for price. I am sure you can beat these prices and maybe you can also have both. You can beat these prices and you can find a really good place or maybe not. But I will tell you, when I went to Ceramic Garage, go back and look at the video, you will see that place you could eat off the floor. Those people were really good at what they did and they treated all of the cars really, really, really well. So I had what, what's called the, um, I had the Expel uh, Ultimate 
materials, the full frontal installation bundle. I'm looking at an invoice that for the hood, which you just saw the hood and the front, all the way up the pillars, that came to basically $1,900, $1,899. Wow. Holy crap. I think that's still sitting on my credit card too. Um, but then I went further than that because I added also the uh, rocker panels and the fender flares. Those are separate. So we're looking at almost, I'm gonna show you the invoice right here. Here it is, you can see what you can see right there. You can see that? We're looking at almost 3K just in those two uh, installations alone. Huh, okay, so, um, and that's a big job. Any, any person that does this, any shop you take this to, they will tell you installing that clear uh, paint protection, that's a big job. And that's why they needed it that long. Furthermore, the first thing they did, uh, kind of doing this in reverse order, was they did the ceramic coating. Now, my, sh my I was very careful. I took my car directly from the dealership right to the shop, and they did not require uh, paint correction. They looked it over, they put a light on it, uh, went over the whole thing in detail and, de and determined that paint correction was not uh, needed. So I got the silver package and uh, that's like a five year, uh, you know, warranted uh, kind of thing. It says right here, uh, CP Pro silver package installation, five year warranty. And uh, they have a gold, a silver, bronze type thing. This package, thousand bucks. So again, same invoice. Let's take a look. I will show you. There it is right there. Uh, so that's what that cost right there. So can you find cheaper? Maybe. Um, and um, I will tell you that a couple of things you need to think about. And I'm going to do a follow-up video because I'm going back to the shop to have them, they required that actually. They said, I wanna see you again in two weeks. They're gonna go around and look at the clear paint protection. And it's just natural. You're gonna get a few bubbles as it settles, a few tiny little uh, creases and folds here and there. They're gonna go through it and correct those and pop the little bubbles. And this stuff is self-healing. That's one of the beauties of it. Um, but, Paint correction is key with the ceramic coating. And there's one little issue on my car that we're gonna have to address. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that and talk about that because then we'll be able to see uh, the before and the after. But that's what it cost. Um, did I, did I uh, get a great deal? I, I don't know, but again, that wasn't my objective here. My objective was I wanted good people and I wanted good customer service. That's what I got. And you know what? You, sometimes you get what you pay for. Actually, more often than not, you get what you pay for. So that's where I'm at. Um, not cheap, but gosh, uh, so far I'm feeling good about the decision, not bad. So uh, until next time, four guys talking cars, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.